welcome to your viewers to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. This is a special Ashes preview, a uh, work in progress, if you will. I just wanted to fill you in on some things that are going on. Uh, the work is obviously underway, and Ashes will actually start publishing at some point here soon after the Passage story is complete. I expect to have anywhere from two to three episodes of the Passage remaining, and once that is completed, we will be jumping into Ashes very quickly. Uh, I just wanted to not only give you an update, but get you a little bit of a preview of what's going on in production and give you uh, some things to think about, some things to get charged up about, and some news about what I'm planning on doing with the series. Uh, I have made some changes recently in the storyline, some adjustments to accommodate bonus material. That's right. There are many of you who have been supporting Couch Warrior TV and Character Crusade podcast for some time now on Patreon. And I've been thinking a lot about that and what I could offer in terms of an incentive, a gift, a reward, if you will, for all of that support. I definitely want to show my appreciation for it. And I've tried a lot of different things, but finally I just came to the conclusion that, you know... The reason people come to my channel is because they like the role play. They like the Let's Play content. So I thought maybe what I should do is create extra bonus Let's Play content related to the Ashes story for Patreon subscribers. So that is what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I've made some adjustments in the storyline to accommodate bonus content, and I will be producing extra episodes that will be kind of parallel story content that will be released for Patreon subscribers only. Now, uh, if you want to get this content, you're going to need to be a Patreon subscriber to get it of at least $1 a month or more. And then what will happen is as soon as these episodes are ready, I will release them to the Patreon community through a private email and private URLs. And then uh, the plan is to eventually release them to the public uh, at large. But Patreon subscribers will have the first shot at them, and they will be able to see these kind of uh, secret bonus episodes uh, for, uh, I would say, quite a bit in advance of when they're released to the public. Now, the regular Ashes episodes will be available to everybody, just like I was planning, but this bonus content will be related to the story, and they will kind of intertwine in some ways. Uh, my hope is that I can produce uh, the story for everyone in such a way that it's not reliant on this parallel content. So it remains to be seen. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I, I think I can accomplish this without too much trouble, and uh, this will allow me to work on one story instead of two, which just never works out for me, and provide uh, a reward for Patreon supporters that uh, I think is befitting of Couch Warrior TV. So that is basically it. Um, what we're looking at right now is a character that I dreamed up specifically for this parallel or bonus story content, and this character is a, an illusionist, Primarily, a mage, assassin. And uh, I'm going to just give you a little bit of preview footage of this character. Uh, this character in the story is known as the Shadeling. And uh, I won't divulge too much of how the Shadeling fits into the story quite yet. We'll preserve a little bit of surprise. But I thought it might be fun to, you know, see the Shadeling in action, give you a little bit of a preview of some of the things that we can expect. Uh, when I started this whole story idea, it was because people had been making requests that I play a pure mage. They said, Couch Warrior, we want to see you play a mage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you more than that. I'm going to I'm going to give you two mages. So we're going to have Marl, our primary protagonist. We'll be able to see Marl in action. And uh, Marl is going to be primarily focused on conjuration. But we're also going to see this character, which the Shadeling, who is also... Primarily, I guess, not quite a pure mage. It's got he's got kind of an assassin bent to him, but uh, he's he's very heavily invested in illusion and destruction. Now, I think the thing that uh, makes this this character also unique is that we do uh, function as a very very effective assassin 
but we don't use any blades. He is a hand-to-hand -hand fighter, so he carries no weapons. He is all spells and armor, and uh, he is carrying no weapons. He is carrying no potions. Um, in fact, he is carrying no gear other than what you see right now. So his armor, and that's basically it. And my plan is to try and play him that way as effectively as I possibly can. So there's not going to be any daggers, no swords, no conjured weapons. He is purely a hand-to-hand -hand fighter and an illusionist kind of... Uh, we have kind of a, a unique mix, I think, of both illusion and destruction. So, hey, let's get to it. All right. So the Shadeling is obviously here to deal with Valheim Tower. So let's have a look. Now I'm using Ordinator, and I'm also using the Apocalypse Spell Package. It's difficult to express in words how much I love playing this character. He's absolutely fabulous. And, you know, the other thing that's interesting is, for those of you who have been um, following my work all these years, you know that I've been working very hard trying to dial in the right balance of, of role play and commentary. And uh, we're going to be striking a nice balance here, I think. So commentary and voiced characters. So you may be asking... Well, we've heard what Marl's voice sounds like. What does the Shadeling sound like? Well, this has been kind of an interesting thing, right? I've done some, some experimentation with voice processing in the past with marginal success. Um, because, you know, in my old setup, most of that stuff had to happen kind of after the fact, you know, it, it had to happen as part of production, you know. My goal with this character was to give him an interesting and creepy voice while still allowing myself to be in the moment, right? And that can be a significant challenge, right? So what I've elected to do here is um, I've been playing around a little bit with the mixing board and so forth. So when we actually get to the point where we're in a role play kind of a situation, as I'm doing dialogue or voicing the character for whatever reason, I will be able to do some voice processing. And then we have the Shadeling. Okay. Not all the threats have been eliminated. There are threats yet to neutralize. So we will do that. Hmm. I saw a guy walking down below. But I do not see him now. 
So. Okay, let's see if... We can get a body count. Okay, maybe it was the one that we just eliminated. Yeah, here's the bandit chief. So, we use the shadow bond spell. I snared him in the shadow bond and then threw myself off that ledge way up there and teleported while in mid-fall, which killed him. There was one dead body floating down the river there, so that was obviously one that I ejected from the upper areas. So, that's it. Valheim Tower. Pretty quick and clean. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Shadeling. We're playing at Master Difficulty using Ordinator and Apocalypse Spell Package and a rather small selection of spells, to be honest, but some illusion spells that I think are going to have a massive impact on the excitement of these combat situations. We will have so many kind of cool things that we'll be able to draw from. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little preview. I have certainly enjoyed doing it. And again, I still don't have any official date as far as when this is going to start. But um, we're close. We're close. So those of you who are following the passage, I would expect that we've probably got uh, three or four episodes left. And we'll be done with that. And then it will be off to the races with Ashes. So if you're interested in getting the bonus content early, being able to follow along with the bonus content as you follow the Ashes story, uh, feel free to uh, support Couch Warrior TV on Patreon again. Uh, it only costs a dollar a month to get access to the bonus content early. Uh, so, you know, feel free. Uh, definitely appreciate the help. Uh, every penny of it we spend very, very wisely, and it goes directly into all the cool production stuff you see. Um, the, the RPG stuff that we've been doing now, uh, the Pathfinder adventures, the, the podcast, uh, the Skyrim podcast, all of that stuff, plus all of these Let's Plays. Um, it is uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much for your attention, and I will see you all later. <laughs>